Today's video demonstration brought to you by ISCO Scientific. Both Visual Scientific and NewLog brought to you from ISCO Scientific. NewLog sensors are completely plug and play lab data collection system. Visual Scientific is a physics platform that can use any sensor system, smartphone, or digital camera to collect data. The goal of today's activity is to have your students create a scenario in which the cart travels down the plane with a velocity of about 0.1 meters per second. So first, students need to figure out what parameters alter the velocity of the car. They can change the incline, and they can also change outside forces acting on the car. Next, vary the incline and masses on the car and pulley until the car moves slowly down the track. Pick a reference point on the cart. I'll use the tip of the weight holder. We see that the cart starts at x equals 8 centimeters and y equals 16 centimeters. The cart ends at x equals 46 centimeters and y equals 7.5 centimeters. We calculate that delta x equals 38 centimeters and delta y equals 7.5 centimeters. We know delta t by analyzing the video duration to be 3 seconds. We can easily calculate vx to be 0.128 meters per second and vy to be 0.0283 meters per second. If we know Vx and Vy, then we can solve V squared equals Vx squared plus Vy squared. Therefore, we know the velocity down the incline to be 0.131 meters per second. The new log software is very easy to set up. First, connect your PhotoGate sensor into the USB module and open the software. Once you've done that, the software will automatically detect your sensors. Once it's already been detected, click Online Experiment, and then Experiment Setup to configure the experiment. For this, we'll be using the velocity with a single gate. Input the length of the cart. This happens to be 95 millimeters. Click the Back button, and when you're ready, run Experiment. Now we'll verify the velocity of the run using the new log photo gate. But first, we have to configure the software. We see that the velocity was measured to be 0.1272 meters per second, which is very close to our calculated value using Visual Scientifics. 